Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time. Click the link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on any of the amazing content we've got lined up. Now, today's video, we're gonna be talking about a topic which has been mentioned quite a few times in the comment section below, and that is, which acid is right for me? Acids are a fantastic, fantastic addition to anybody's skincare routine and there is an acid out there for everybody. Some of them hydrate, some of them exfoliate, some of them um, do a combination of a number of things. And so what I thought I'd do is sit down and break each acid down with what the benefits are, what you could get out of them, whether you need them in your skincare routine. Now obviously skincare is very, very specific to the individual, so make sure you know your skin type and that you're using the right acid for your skin type. Um, and I'll, hopefully I'll help you break that down And we'll, as we go through this video. I'm going to be breaking it down into the four categories. AHA acids, BHA acids, PHA acids and others. Um, what we can do is really just get to the bottom of what they are and hopefully make you help you to make an informed decision about which ones you need in your routine. I'm definitely, definitely going to be making some recommendations, so make sure you stick to the video um, as I'm going to make recommendations along with which are the products that I particularly like. Um, as we get through it, if you've got any questions at all, leave it in the comments below. I also would love, love, love to know which products you use. So what I'm saying here isn't like the complete list of everything there is product wise in terms of acid. So leave me comments below and ones that you like because I love, love, love to try out some of your recommendations. So without further ado, let's get straight into it with the first category, which is AHAs. Now, AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, are I think the most common form, if I think of all the products out there, it's probably the most common form of acids available in um, skincare ranges. There's many, many, many different acids which come under the alpha hydroxy acid banner. So if I break these down, but overall, an AHA is a fantastic, fantastic addition to a skincare routine if you want a superficial um, exfoliation. So you want to get back some of the life to your skin if you're feeling a little bit dull, if the skin lacks a bit of the luminosity you want, if you've got some uneven skin tone, so you might have, you know, a little bit of hyperpigmentation, a little bit of spotting here, there and everywhere, that's okay. An alpha hydroxy acid will really help tackle that. They tend to be um, slightly, and again, it depends on the individual product, but a little bit more on the aggressive side when it comes to acids. So um, I will go through some of the um, do's and don'ts when I'm using, when I'm talking about using this. Um, as an acid, I think they're fantastic. They're usually derived from fruit extracts. So um, they tend to come from um, fruit enzymes or fruit en extracts. They're then compounded to be put into the products and they come in various strengths. Now, the most common one is glycolic acid. So glycolic acid comes in um, a number of products. In fact, I think it's probably the most popular exfoliating acid out there. The reason for that is it's applicable to all skin types. So I... I would say everybody bar the very, 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 very sensitive can benefit from a um, glycolic acid. It's fantastic at getting rid of those, um, breaking those bonds. So this bonds which are like the cement that hold the dead skin onto the fresh skin underneath. What glycolic acid does is it eats away at those and then so the skin, dead skin cell falls off, revealing the fresh, glowing, gorgeous skin beneath. So it's a fantastic way of bringing back luminosity into the skin. I use um, the Pixi Glow Tonic. This is a 5% glycolic acid toner. 5% in glycolic acid is about right. Um, I think any stronger and you're going to get downtime redness and peeling. Any weaker, I just don't think you're going to see the benefits. Um, this is actually safe enough to use every single day. Again, I'd listen to your skin though and if you start once or twice a week and it's absolutely fine maybe build up to three or four times a week and then if you do want to go every single day you can my skin i can use this every single day um no problems at all but some people might find you know that a little bit too much um, the Ordinary do a 7%, which is slightly stronger, glycolic acid toning solution. Um, I also really like that one. The reason I go for the Pixi over the Ordinary is because this has some added hydrating ingredients in. So I do find that this leaves my skin a little bit more hydrated than the Ordinary one, which I, can, I do find is a little bit on the drying side. So 
great product, would fully recommend it. That's um, glycolic acid. Within the AHA sphere as well, there is lactic acid. Now, lactic acid is a fantastic, fantastic acid for certain skin types. It's got a much larger molecule size, so it penetrates a lot less than, say, a glycolic acid. So you're getting a much more superficial exfoliation. It's also super, super hydrating. It's, it's a form of humectant, so it's going to be drawing moisture into the skin. So it's absolutely fantastic is lactic acid for people with dry and sensitive skin. Um, the only one out there that I've actually tried and I loved was The Ordinary Do, a fantastic lactic acid um, solution. I would use it probably once or twice a week, build up to three times a week if your skin can tolerate it. But I don't think there's going to be any circumstances where I'd recommend a daily use of that. But it's a fantastic lactic acid, is fantastic at... Um, a gentle exfoliation for people with dry and sensitive skin. Because it is slightly, and I don't want to use the word weaker because it's not, because the concentration can be similar, but because of the larger molecule sizes, lactic acid is slower to deliver results. That I don't think is a bad thing. I think any exfoliation is a long, any skincare actually, is a long-term goal. So I'd say if you're using a lactic acid, you might see three months worth of use before you start seeing the real results you want. But actually, in the life of your skin, if you think, you know, we live to our 80s now, the life of your skin, three months is nothing and it's well worth the investment. So the ordinary lactic acid is gorgeous. There are other ones out there, but that's the only one I've tried and can vouch for has been really good. Also within the AHA is um, azelaic acid, which is absolutely amazing when it comes to rosacea and red redness and um, very reactive skin azelaic acid is fantastic at um it's antimicrobial so what you'll get is if you've got bumps associated with your rosacea for example it'll help deal with that it's anti-inflammatory so it'll take down all that red the redness and swelling that you might be getting from it and when used over time it will help with that redness it's also super gentle so can be used for people with very reactive very um rosacea is a fantastic example of a very reactive skin type so um, azelaic acid is an absolute must if you've got um reactive skin again i would use it once a week build up to twice a week if your skin can tolerate that but you don't want to push it particularly if your skin is reactive again i'd probably defer to the ordinary which do a 10 percent azelaic acid suspension that's fantastic it's a gorgeous product it's really cheap but it really really works again because it is a more gentle form of exfoliation it is going to take time to see the results but that's absolutely fine give it two to three months and you'll start to see some fantastic results from that so that's azelaic acid those are the ones that i think form the basis of the aha acid group so i would say if you have what i class as easy skin so skin that doesn't have any particular issues or concerns there's very few of us out there your go-to just needs to be glycolic acid get yourself the pixie glow tonic or a similar solution and just go with it it's fantastic if you are very dry you might be suffering from um some sensitivity lactic acid is going to be your friend and if you are super reactive you've got rosacea you've got redness you've got some inflammation azelaic acid is going to be a godsend and I would definitely say get that in your routine. Now all that being said there are some other ones there's things um like mandelic acid and there's other ones in there that I'm not going to go into any detail because I think it's a bit bombarding people with information but I think those are the three key acids which sit within the AHA group. Now on to the BHA these are super this is super easy because there's really only one common acid which sits within that and that is salicylic acid. Now BHAs are totally different beta hydroxy acids are totally different to alpha hydroxy acids because they are oil soluble so what that means is whereas an AHA sits on the skin eats away at the bonds which are holding the dead skin onto your fantastic skin underneath they don't actually go into the skin. They don't go do any of the work on the pores. So a BHA, a beta hydroxy acids, are oil soluble. So what they can do is penetrate into the pores. They can attach themselves to the oil and the sebum, which is in those pores, and bring it, draw it out of the skin. This makes salicylic acid absolutely fantastic for anybody that is suffering with clogged pores, breakouts, acne, just any clogged skin it also does do a superficial exfoliation as well so you're getting really the dual benefits there but not to the same extent as the ahas i would be very careful using a bha acid if you have sensitive reactive or dry skin the reason i say that is i think if you're if you're reactive 
or sensitive and you have clogged pores, azelaic acid is going to be better for you because you're not going to risk that downtime and sensitivity. If you have dry skin, you don't want to be taking the oils out of that skin. You don't want to be using an acid which is going to attach itself to the oils and draw it out of the skin. You want to be replenishing, building the oils. Just, I would say, definitely, definitely, definitely avoid a BHA if you have sensitive or dry reactive skin. Everybody else can benefit from a BHA. I like to use it on my T-zone. So I use it on my nose where I get the clogged pores, around my lips where I do get some clogged pores as well there. I put that on morning, on the morning, and it is fantastic. I don't particularly like to layer acids. I don't think that's that's safe, especially if you're using them quite regularly. So I avoid these areas with my glow tonic, and then I use the salicylic acid on the areas to declog the pores. Honestly, I think we all see products out there that say, Declog your pores, shrinks pore sizes, minimizes pores. Most of that is absolute rubbish because pore size is genetic, it's age related. There's a number of things. There's very little you can do to shrink the size of your pores. You can, however, declog them to make them look less um, prominent. And salicylic acid is really one of the few products which can actually deliver that. So get yourself a BHA if that's your concern. That's BHAs, beta hydroxy acids. Now we're going to move on seamlessly into PHAs. So the PHAs are, I, I, I'm not going to say new addition to skincare because they've been around since the 70s, but they were under um, license and they had um, strict trademarks on. Um, that has just recently expired and so they're becoming much more available in regular products. They're still probably the hardest to find, I'd say, of all of the acids. And really what defines these is the size of their molecules. The molecules relative to the other um, acids we've talked about are huge. So the penetration is a lot less than the other acids. And really, you're going to see results over a much longer period of time. That means they are fantastic, fantastic for people that are new to acids, that have sensitive skin, that have reactive skin, and that maybe haven't been able to use other acids because of the reactions and the downtime they've got. You're going to get much less redness. You're going to get much less sensitivity. And one of the fantastic benefits of PHAs is they've been proven in studies over time to help repair the um, barrier function of the skin, which is so, so important. Because if you've got impaired barrier function, that often leads to things like the rosaceas, the dermatitis, the eczema, things like that. We need the strong skin barrier to protect our skin and the PHAs can help to support that. So they're fantastic. Um, there's lots of there's lots of different ones. The probably the most common is um gluco gluconon acetone, which is um a I'll put a link to it there so you can look out for it because that's actually pronounced wrong. I get tongue twisted when I pronounce it but basically it's an oxidized version of um, glucose so it works at very gently exfoliating the skin but also helping to support that skin barrier and helping over time to deliver things like more even skin tone um, better more vibrant skin it's just a very gentle exfoliant so I think those PHAs are fantastic for people with new I'd say new to acids or that are worried that they might be too strong. Now, the recommendation I would make is this product, which I've totally forgotten in this video. I use it <laughs> I use it all the time, but yeah, I've totally forgot. So I'll put a link there to um, the product that I would recommend. It's a fantastic product. I've only just started using it, but it is really gentle and it's, uh, it's a fantastic exfoliant. I've been recommending it to some of my friends who do have that sensitive skin and are quite worried about introducing an acid into their skincare routine. So God's product, check it out. Now, finally, we go on to what are classes the others. So it doesn't mean that they're not having an exfoliating element and they're not, but the main one here is hyaluronic acid. Um, I think hyaluronic acid is fantastic. We've talked about this before on this uh, channel, about drawing, it's the, it's the ultimate humectant when it comes to drawing and locking in moisture to the skin. It's absolutely fantastic. I recommend um, this one, which is by the Inculist. The Inculist do a fantastic hyaluronic acid because it's not sticky. Generally, hyaluronic acids can be a little bit on the sticky, tacky side. They don't really sink in that well. This one literally disappears after you've used it. Doesn't have any scent, which is fantastic. It's super cheap. It's like six pounds here in the UK. It's fantastic as a humectant. If you want to bring that moisture, if you've got dry skin, a hyaluronic acid is your friend. So, all that being said, hopefully that's given you a good idea about where you want to go 
in terms of acids in your routine. What I would say is a couple of rules. Always patch test before you try anything. On the back of the ear, if you get any redness, any itching, any irritation, don't use the product on the rest of your face. That's just a general rule for any skin care, I would say. Also, speak to your dermatologist if you do have any specific medical skin complaints which you are dealing with, because obviously I take for any of these to react with that and potentially impact treatment that you're already receiving. And a little bit of a tip, you can mix these acids. Now, I don't like layering acids. I said that earlier in the video because I think it can be too much um, for your skin. However, if you get a product which is properly, properly formulated that has a mixture of these ingredients in and you use it as per the instructions, it can be fantastic. My go-to is the ordinary AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. This is a very strong exfoliator. It's got AHAs, glycolic acid, and BHAs, salicylic acid in, and oh, I think it's a gorgeous product. Um, the only thing that puts me off is this bloody awful colour that they insist on it being red. I don't know why, but hey-ho. Um, but it's a gorgeous product. Use it once a week, and it will just supercharge your exfoliation routine. It's very strong, so it's certainly not for people with sensitive, reactive, or super dry skin, but... This is a combination skin dream. Once a week, and it's a fantastic combination of the two. Also, the solution by Glossier, I'll leave a link there, um, is a fantastic combination of AHA, BHA, and PHA acids. So it's got all three in there. Now, gorgeous product, super strong. So I would be really, really, really cautious about using this if you have anything other than very um, resilient skin that's quite used to exfoliation, because it is very strong but a gorgeous product. It is, it's gonna strip out all the dirt and the debris from the skin. It's gonna help resurface the skin to reveal vibrant, bright skin underneath, and it's gonna really help with some of that pigmentation. So it's a fantastic product that I think gives the benefits of all three in one product. Fantastic. If you know you've got very tolerant skin, definitely try that one out. Right guys, well I hope this has given you a little bit of a run through of the acids A to Z. I hope that's helped. Um, I think there's a place for an acid in every single person's skincare routine. You've just got to find the right one for you. So let me know which ones you use. Any products you want to recommend? Are you totally new to acids and you're going to try out any of these products? Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget we have actually got a giveaway going on at the moment. So check out my video which talked about facial rolling and there's a fantastic giveaway still ongoing. It's not too late to join and follow us on Instagram at SkinMad. I look forward to seeing you in the next video guys. Take care. Bye.